raise all natural pork. Uh, we service clients from the I-4 corridor south to the Miami area. We started uh, Palmetto Creek Farms in 2001. We uh, started breeding show pigs because when my children were in 4-H, we had to travel about two, two and a half hours just to buy a pig to put in the fair. So we were exploring other opportunities and the University of Florida had contacted us and invited us to a meeting in Gainesville at the university. And that night they served two pork loins on the grill, cooked on the grill, and they used identical seasoning for both pork loins. And so through that, I was able to see the difference between meat quality pork and, and commodity pork. So from that night, I drove home uh, excited about a new program that we were gonna start at the farm. We settled in on the Hereford pork because of the meat quality primarily, but secondarily, uh, the red hair coat of the Hereford hog uh, helps it resist the Florida heat a lot better than the black hair coat of the Berkshires. So uh, also we had the opportunity to introduce a breed that nobody in the state had ever heard or heard of. And so we were able to take an unknown breed and bring it to the forefront. Florida Trend Magazine contacted the University of Florida about emerging markets. And the University of Florida shared with them what I was doing with the Hereford pork in the niche market for <clears throat> uh, meat quality. So a wine salesman by the name of John House contacted me about introducing my pork to a couple of his high-end chefs. Got my permission, I said, oh, please do. So uh, he contacted Kathleen Blake at that time at Primo Restaurant at the JW Marriott in Grand Lakes, and he contacted uh, Scott Copeland, who was at K Restaurant at that time. And so I brought meat samples to the two chefs. We both, we all met at, at Primo's and Grand Lakes, and so they were able to sample the meat, and they saw the difference in meat quality and were, were very excited to have local pork with such quality. They started telling other chefs about me to try to help us get started. Uh, and so the, the business just really took off from that point. Uh, people started hearing about the, the meat quality and the Hereford pork and being able to obtain local pork and uh, were seeking that at the time. So we came in to the green movement at just the right time. With our production, we've got uh, 45 to 50 sows on 30 acres tying up 30 acres with their, their offspring. So we, we run a, a total herd of around 400 to 450 hogs at various stages. The, uh, the genetics of the pig is the number one factor for meat quality. There are other factors that are involved also, such as the feed mixture that you feed. You can affect the uh, meat quality with the, the feed blend you use, but you can only affect it to a certain amount. Uh, the genetics affects the meat quality more than anything. When a hog is able to walk around and exercise, run, whatever it wants to do, you have better blood circulation, more oxygen in the blood. Uh, and our belief is that that does affect meat quality. It's also a lower stress environment. Uh, the animals on the farm uh, are maintained in a low stress way their entire life. We use no electric prods, don't even own an electric prod on the farm. Uh, don't feel like it's it's good for the hogs and, uh, and, and we just don't feel like we need it. So when we move the hogs, we walk them, we don't run them. We move them gently just by walking behind them and guiding them where we want them and do everything in a low stress environment. We notch ears so we can identify uh, the pigs and as to what litter they're from. So in uh, our system, we use the right ear to mark the litter and so we count litters, uh, usually we go into two years, so, uh, and then the left ear identifies the individual pig. And so we have zones for the notches uh, that give us a code or a system to identify the pigs. So we can, we can take those ear notches and go back anytime we want to and identify who the mother was and the father and the date that pig was born and we can calculate how many days to mark it on that pig. The reason we use uh, Palmetto Creek's pigs, or uh, they, the quality is a lot better than the normal pigs that are uh, on the market now. 
The marbling is a lot better. There's a, a really great uh, fat to muscle ratio and um, it makes for a really good eating pork. You're seeing these living animals be born and the excitement of, of your first sow giving birth and you're watching the little babies as they struggle to get up and, and, and they get up immediately after birth. When they come out of the womb, they start walking around uh, trying to find a place to nurse. And uh, they're so beautiful. Uh, the little pigs are like little puppy dogs. And it just, I just have a great passion for that. It's, and it never gets old. Uh, every time you see a new litter born, you're just as amazed as you were with the first. Being a farmer uh, is a very exciting thing. I, I have done many things over my life and farming has, has been my favorite of all uh, just because of, of what you get to experience on a daily basis.